Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to enable AirPrint with a web view using Swift with Xcode. So let's go ahead and get started and then print. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is head right into Xcode, create a new Xcode project, and this will be a single view application. Click next. Product name, I'm just gonna call this print. Language will be set to Swift, inner devices will be set to universal. This is a universal concept, so it works on every device that can air print. So click next and create. And now let's go ahead and make this a bit bigger and let's head right into our main.storyboard. Now inside of this main.storyboard, this is where I'm going to have the web view. So let's go ahead and put on a web view onto our scene. So just click and drag that into our scene like so, make it fill the whole scene. I'm gonna right click or control click and drag from the UI web view over to the view in the hierarchy right over here. And this is just going to set constraints. You don't really have to do this, but I like doing it anyway. Now let's open up our assistant editor. And now we're going to right click or control click and drag from this UI web view over to our view controller .swift. And in here, we're going to just call this our web view like so. So we have our UI web view. Now we also want to add some things onto this web view. So let's go into our view did load and right here we're going to say web view dot load HTML string. Now I am using an HTML string although anything that's really put inside of this web view can be printed. Whether that be a document off of the website or even a website itself like google.com you could put that inside of the web view and people will be able to print that. So I'm going to say web view dot load HTML string and inside of this it will be open quotation mark close quotation mark and just a very simple HTML string I'm just gonna go alligator tips and then inside of this I'm going to say HTML and then again alligator tips this will be body and then just hello world like so and then just close that off with another alligator tips we're gonna say slash body this time and then again alligator tips and we're gonna say slash HTML like so base URL we will set this equal to nil so now if we were to build and run this, hello world would appear on our web view. So if we head over here, hello world, like so. So now let's print this. So let's head back over to our project, go over to our web view right over here in our main.storyboard. Let's actually close our assistant editor so we have a bit more room. And let's just click and drag a toolbar onto our scene, like so. And inside of this toolbar, it already comes with an item. We're going to delete the item that we have right there. Just Go ahead and delete the bar button item. And then go ahead and click and drag a button onto our scene. This makes it a lot easier so we can connect it up with our view controller .swift. So now we have this button right here. I'm just going to say print like so. And now if we click this, were to click this button, nothing would happen. So we need something to happen. But first off, if we were to build and run this application right now, this toolbar would not be in the right place. So let's go ahead, right click or control click and drag from our toolbar over to our view. And we're going to say center vertically, and then we're going to say bottom space, leading space, and trailing space, like so. So now we have it all set up, so it's automatically going to be set at the bottom. And now this print button will stay where the toolbar goes, so we don't need to worry about that. And now let's go ahead, open up our assistant editor, and we're going to right click or control click and drag from this button right here. Now if you're not able to grab the button perfectly, we can go right over to our hierarchy right here, and we can right click or control click and drag from our button. And then we're going to say connection, action, like so. So in here, this is going to be print. So we're going to print something when we click this button. Now, how do we print? So let's go ahead and just say var print info. So this is going to be the information that we want to print. So we're going to say var print info colon UI print info. If you're not able to access UI print, be sure that you imported a UI kit. It should automatically be imported, but if you haven't, import UI kit. So now let's continue on and we're going to say var print info colon UI print info will be equal to UI print info dot and we're going to say print info like so. Now we're going to go down here and say print info dot output type will be equal to UI print info output type dot general. So this is just going to be a general printing information that we're going to put out there. Then we're also going to say print info dot job name will be equal to and this will be web view. So we're going to grab our web view. Then we're going to say dot request dot URL dot absolute string. So we're going to request the URL from our web view and we're going to put that right inside of our print info dot job name. Now let's go in here and we're going to say print info dot orientation. Now of course this is basically what how is your page going to print? I'm going to make mine equal to UI print info orientation dot portrait like so. And now we can go down here and we're gonna create a print controller. So we're gonna say var print controller will be equal to 
UI print interaction controller, like so, dot shared print controller. So it's basically going to be a controller that we're gonna load up on our scene that will control all things that are printing. Now we go down here and we just say print controller dot print info and so what information is this going to print now in order to make things less confusing I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna just change this name up here to P info like so this will make things a little bit less confusing in the naming things now we say print controller dot print info will be equal to and we're gonna just type in P info so we're loading all this information that we created up here into this print controller now we go down here and we say print controller dot shows page range and we're going to make this equal to true and we're also going to say print controller dot print formatter will be equal to and this will be web view dot view print formatter so we're basically what kind of format is this going to be it's going to be whatever format the web view is so now we're going to go down here and we're going to say print controller dot present animated and we're going to set this equal to true completion handler will set this equal to nil. So now it's going to animate onto our scene and now we'll be able to print. So if I were to build and run this right now, I can go down here, hello world, and print. And now as you can see, it's animated onto my scene. I can select the printer. Okay, there's my printer and I can just say print. Now I don't know why this toolbar is a bit weird, but you can still just say print, printer, select your printer like so, and then print. And there you have it. So, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more tutorials like this from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. Anyway, I will see you in the next one.